the island of Guernsey, the second largest of the Channel Islands, just 30 miles from France's Normandy coast, is steeped in folklore and local legends. Home to Le Miserable writer Victor Hugo, Guernsey's natural beauty and stunning beaches make it widely regarded as one of the world's most beautiful locations. But beyond the island's natural beauty and tranquility, there lies a fascinating heritage of supernatural goings-on, witchcraft, and even encounters with the devil. Dolmens, ancient burial sites, and even fairy rings give us a glimpse into a fascinating world which has been kept hidden for centuries. A world of prehistoric ritual, superstition, witchcraft, and even war between Guernsey men and the fairy kingdom. It's thought that if you pay money for one of these books, then you sell part of your soul. There is a story, actually, that the witches used to meet in Guernsey at the Castle Rock, which is opposite the Priory, and they used to shout their curses and spells in the direction of the Priory, sort of defying the church. On your knees! There really was genuine concern among the island community about the number of witches living among them. With Linda now at home and out of hospital, her parents began to see something in their daughter, a special power that no other child possessed. It's quite a strange thing, going the ghost of someone you know very well. The fortification is relatively unused these days, but it has been said that a German soldier has been seen wandering around for many years. <laughs> 